What if your mind can't be programmed? Can a computer fall in love? Can it understand a poem? Can it look at a paradox and suddenly know the answer without calculating every step? In the age of artificial intelligence, these questions are more than philosophical. They're existential. Sir Roger Penrose, one of the most respected physicists of our time, believes that consciousness is not computational. That there's something in the human mind, something mysterious, intuitive, alive, that no machine can ever replicate. He bases this belief not on mysticism, but on mathematics. Specifically, Godel's incompleteness theorem, one of the most important discoveries in logic. In this video, we'll explore how Penrose used Godel's proof to launch a radical challenge to AI, explain why insight is different from calculation, and ask a profound question. Is there something in you that no algorithm can explain? Sir Roger Penrose is a mathematical physicist, a Nobel laureate, and a pioneer in our understanding of black holes, space-time, and the deep geometry of the universe. But beyond cosmology, Penrose has spent decades exploring one of the most forbidden frontiers in science, the mystery of consciousness. He's one of the few mainstream scientists willing to challenge the idea that the brain is just a biological computer. In books like The Emperor's New Mind and Shadows of the Mind, he argues that true understanding, the aha moments, the flashes of insight, cannot be reduced to computation. For Penrose, the human mind is more than neurons firing. It's a window into a deeper layer of reality, and understanding it may require new physics. In 1931, a young Austrian logician named Kurt Godel shook the foundations of mathematics with a single proof. Godel showed that in any formal mathematical system complex enough to describe basic arithmetic, there are true statements that cannot be proven within the system itself. In other words, no matter how powerful a logical system is, there will always be truths it cannot reach unless you step outside the system. This result became known as Godel's incompleteness theorem, and its implications were profound. It meant that mechanical rules alone can never capture the full scope of mathematical truth. And Penrose realized, if a computer is just a machine following rules, an algorithm, then there are things it will never understand. But humans can. And that means something in us goes beyond algorithms. Imagine you're staring at a complex mathematical puzzle. At first it's confusing, but suddenly something clicks. Not because you've tried every possibility, but because something in you just sees the answer. That moment of insight, spontaneous, non-linear, holistic, is what Penrose believes lies beyond computation. A computer solves problems by brute force, by processing data step by step. But humans often leap. We grasp the whole, make intuitive connections, see beauty and elegance in solutions. According to Penrose, this kind of understanding cannot be simulated by any algorithm, no matter how advanced. And Godel's theorem proves that there are truths outside any formal system. But somehow, human minds can access them. This suggests that consciousness is not just pattern recognition. It is a form of participation in truth itself. Today, artificial intelligence can do incredible things, generate art, compose music, write code, but Penrose argues that no matter how advanced AI becomes, it will never truly be conscious. Why? Because AI is still bound by algorithms. It doesn't understand what it's doing. It doesn't know it's writing. It's simulating language, not experiencing meaning. For Penrose, even the most powerful large language model is like a mirror. It reflects but does not see. The human mind, in contrast, does something AI cannot do. It reaches beyond rules to grasp the unprovable, the intuitive, the real. Penrose's position is not anti-AI, it's pro-mystery. He believes that the human mind points to a level of physics we haven't yet discovered, a realm where consciousness interacts with the world in ways no computer ever will. So where does this non-algorithmic quality come from? Penrose believes the answer lies in quantum physics. In collaboration with anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff, he proposed the orchestrated objective reduction theory, or ORCH or the idea that quantum processes in microtubules inside brain cells may create moments of consciousness through quantum collapse. These events are non-computational, non-deterministic, 
and possibly even connected to the fundamental structure of space-time. While the or theory is still controversial, its core message is bold. Consciousness may not be produced by complexity alone, it may arise from the quantum structure of the universe itself. And if that's true, then the human mind is not a machine, it's a quantum participant in reality. Penrose often speaks of mathematical beauty, the sense that a true solution is not only correct but elegant. He believes this sense of aesthetic, of creative intuition, of sudden understanding, is a clue that consciousness is something more than computation. It allows us to access truths that cannot be reached by logic alone. In this way, the mind is not just solving problems, it is in dialogue with something larger. And that something may be the deep fabric of reality, a place where mathematics, awareness and matter are entangled in a timeless dance. The fact that we can know anything at all, that we can recognize truth, suggests that we are not separate from the universe. We are part of its unfolding, guided not by algorithms, but by awareness itself. Penrose's message is simple but revolutionary. You are not a machine. Your consciousness is not a glitch in your biology. It is a mystery, a flame, a flash of something deeper than matter, deeper than math. In a world increasingly enchanted by artificial minds, Penrose reminds us that there's something sacred in being human, not religiously, but fundamentally. Your thoughts, your insights, your sudden realizations, these are not mere computations. They are windows into a realm no algorithm can reach. And if the mind is quantum, if it taps into the infinite, then perhaps every flash of awareness is the universe knowing itself through you. Roger Penrose stands as a scientist, unafraid of wonder. He reminds us that logic has limits and consciousness defies simplification. There's something in consciousness that escapes computation, he says, and that something may be the most important truth of all. If your thoughts are not algorithms, then you are not a program. You're a participant in something vast, subtle, and alive. If this video awakened something in you, leave a comment. Have you ever experienced insight that felt like it came from beyond you? And if you're ready to keep exploring the mind, the mystery, and the physics of awareness, subscribe. We are so glad you are here. The objective of this channel is to explore new concepts and perspectives about reality and to keep alive the profound search of spiritual clarity. No one knows what is the real truth, but together we can explore and try to expand our consciousness one video at a time. Please leave a like and share your opinions in the comments below. Let's engage in meaningful conversations, because in a world of code and silicon, you are still a miracle.